a lot. Like the only people I can think of like esport wise is like Optic and I kinda that's it. They're like yeah, one of the few much. teams that use green. But uh we're gonna have Pyro here with the villager and we're going pit. Hey, I, I know this matchup. So yeah, you you used to play pit. You still yeah. kinda play pit. Yeah, every once in a while. Um it's I, this matchup I'd say is even. Is it? Yeah, because Pit's got forward tilt to really help keep out villagers nonsense. And the F tilt's pretty disjointed, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh. And like, like it looks like every time I watch a pit play, it's kind of like they space for F tilt or they space for dash. And then if not dash attack, and if none of that hits, they just kind of roll away and like reset neutral. Yeah, pretty much. Um, nice there. Yeah, getting that damage. And uh, Pyro though, man, Pyro, since he's been on the scene about what six months now, so this man has leveled up so fast so too. Ever this since the beginning too, he really started just. He took everyone to game three out of nowhere. And yeah, I was like, who the hell is this kid? <laughs> like, what is, I'm timing him out with Falcon because I'm scared of him. Like, yeah, he scares the heck that. out of me. Um, but yeah, he's been leveling up quite a bit. Big Wi-Fi player, practicing with all the, the homies, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm not one of those homies. I don't like Wi-Fi. Not too much. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. I want to, but like, right? I forget. I don't even forget. I just think about it, and I'm like, I could just go play Overwatch. Like, I don't want to play Laggy <laughs> Smash. So like, what the hell? But off the start, Pyro is starting to put down some pretty decent damage. Uh, these fairs and bears yeah. getting a little ridiculous. And that's one thing is Pit wants to not respect that as much. Because you can kind of get in Villager's face and yeah. stay in Villager's face. Yeah, you're like in his face, but safe range, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, the up tilt. Catching that neutral get up. And now, let's see the landing option for Stomp Horizon. He actually just lands in uh, Pyro, not with much of a punish. Good recovery by um, Stomp the Horizon. Needs to get the edge guard. Uh, keep a villager off stages and, uh, I mean, pick and deal with it, but like it's not the ideal situation. Oh my god, the Nair. Oh, let's go. That was good. And oh, that would have been overkill, dog. That, yeah. that bowling ball. Yeah. <laughs> he would have bowled having, like a perfect 300 right there with pretty that. Pretty much. I'm having PTSD for me. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> the bowling ball, because your up B is so vulnerable as Pit, yeah, right? Yeah, that was a good up B by Stomp Horizon, though. Angling it, not going completely um, vertical. Mm -hmm. Oh my but, god, Pyro, just dude, let him play oh the game. My gosh. Okay. I thought that was it. I, straight up, I thought he got him off the stage. Yeah, pretty much. Pyro just depressed his life away. Yeah, and uh, the one thing I'm noticing from Stomp that he really needs to adjust with is these neutral get ups. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see what I mean? Where he yep. like goes at that angle where it's like he doesn't have as much time to drop it. Yeah, you gotta learn that, man. Our villagers really exploit that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is not the angle we were talking oh, okay. about, but yeah. uh, still gets back. And now it's full stage control, so. Okay. Not, didn't auto cancel the nair, so we're gonna not get a punish off of it. I'm a little curious how long it stops from playing this character. I don't know. I'll ask him after. I can uh, tell him some things, because I. Like, like, it's not looking bad. It's no, just it's not. tough. Yeah, Pit's a hard character to play, because. You have no jank, dog. You got none. No. You literally just don't have any. Especially against an RNG character like this. Right. Where it's like, hey, here's these nice triple turnips that I'm going to kill you with. Yeah, out of nowhere, too. Yeah. And like they the, come out fast. Just incredibly quick. Oh, and oh, there they are. Out. Okay, calling it. Man, look at your reads. Dude, I'm telling you. Sorry guys, if you can hear that on stream, we're having a little bit of static. Yeah, I was about to. I was about to. I've already. Down yeah, I've already showed up. Put, I made Gucci put the headset on in the middle of that oh, set. That was game one. That was only game one. Time to adjust. Time to improve. What is the stage? And going to one of Village's least favorite ever matchups. Yeah, but the one thing I always bring up: this matchup's not bad for the cloud, obviously, because the sword disjoint gets through a lot of those uh, projectiles. But when you're off stage, Villager has a ton of different ways to get yeah, you. Yeah. I the one time I played Pyro in this matchup, he obliterated my face off. Yeah. And like if if you're playing against a villager who knows the cloud matchup, it's still in Cloud's favor. But yeah, if but the villager is better than you or like if you're not as familiar with the matchup, the villager will take full advantage of it. Almost like that. Yeah. Nearing, almost nearing him off stage. Four nares and it's a kill. Like that's insane. Kinda like uh did he fair in a sense. Mm -hmm. In a sense, but not not as good, sadly. Yeah. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, it's a little better. Yeah, I think we're about where we need to be. I don't hear it anymore. Yeah. Oh, oh my there God. it is. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. Anyway, Pyro, another good lead. Start off the game. But 
Uh, Stomp Horizon made a pretty, like, pretty good crawl back, I'd say. Yeah, like, he was kind of just thrown off stage off the start. And he's yeah. finding some stage positioning with just those nares in the up air, finding some oh, damage to fair. That was, I like the, I like that. Yeah, that option seemed really smart. I mean, no matter what, he's going to be hitting Pyro there, gets through the Lloyd. Yeah, because the Lloyd had so much lag. And on, the best case scenario is you get a spike. Yeah, exactly. Like, and if not, you get some pretty good damage. Yep, and your limit. Okay. Speaking of that, he just throws it. Oh, oh I was expecting yeah, a dash yeah. attack. Oh, okay. I... Oh, no. Pyro getting the grab. He doesn't grab much. But when he uh, when he does, he finds kills. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Builds your back throw, man. Builds oh. a small little character, but can throw you a mile. I I think I know what he was trying to do is with that Nair. I think he was trying to go into the tree. Oh, yeah. He had watered it previously. Could you imagine that? I would have. It would have been insane. I would have lost my mind. Lost the marbles. Anyway. <laughs> Bill, er, oh, Lloyd saving him. <laughs> Lloyd saving his life. Builds your wall jump just still gets me. I honestly, I love the movement from yeah. Stomp right there. That was super good. I would have really liked if he cross slashed the shield because that would have put a lot of pressure and could have possibly poked. I'm not sure the properties of that, even though I kind of played this character. Oh, no, oh, no. Yeah. And even right there, we didn't have player cams on Pyro, but he put his hand up, popped off just a tad bit. Is he uh, offering a seeds or those nuts? This is granola, dog. I'm good. Thank you. Mm. What? Mm.